Hey everybody, this is Mike, and I'm going to show you how to set up a file for animation for your Drive Safely Ride Safely logo, and then I'm going to animate it, so this video might be kind of long. But the first thing I do when I'm animating is I bring the file into After, or I'm sorry, into Illustrator, and I break it up because we don't want to bring one layer into After Effects because then you can't you can't animate the assets. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at this and say, okay, which pieces do I think want to animate? Um, since the guy is one piece, it's not going to be possible to animate him, and I don't have the time to be able to break him up. But we, typically when you set up a file for animation, you don't have the arms separate from the torso and the waist and the legs because you'd be able to move these and make it look like he's pedaling. But in this case, we won't be able to do that, so we'll keep it easy, and uh, we'll just have him be separate. So I'm going to hit Command-3 to hide him, and I've got a tire. I've got this tire here. And then I've got the car, so if I hit Option Command three, it brings him back. And then here's the car, so I'm gonna Option Command, I'm gonna Command three of that, and then the tire on its own. Okay, cool. So I'm I'm hiding the layers just so I can see which ones I can I can use, and that just helps me with my process. The next thing I'm gonna do is see that. All right, so I'm thinking, so I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking that the guy will be riding in the middle. The car will kind of pass as he's moving backwards. So we'll have the car since there's no back to the car. I'm thinking there'll be a mask here to have this person drive up. And once they do that, I'm thinking that maybe both of these will be in the center here to start, and then they'll move up, and then these words will reveal with the boxes. Um, so I need all these assets to be separate. So what I'm going to do is make sure that they're all separate, which I did before this, and I'm going to hit Command A. And then up here, there's a release to sequence. So I'm going to click that, and what it's going to do is going to create all these layers here. But now i got to name them, because I don't want to bring in objects in that are just named layer. So if I hit Option and click any of these layers, it'll show me which one's selected. And if I double-click this, I'll just name this um, Car Wheel. And then this will be like Guy on Bike. It, doesn't, it just has to make sense to you. So Bike Front Tire. And if I mess up the um, spelling, that's okay. Bike back tire uh, car green box blue box drive safely I don't think I spelled that right ride safely okay but now you want to take these layers and move them outside of that layer now this will show you what happens if I didn't do that so I did this and just did uh, ride safely logo. Actually, I need to make a folder for this. I always want to keep this organized. So um, ride safely. I'll just name it this. So this will be the naming convention. I'll do another folder. I'll name it assets underscore assets. I do the underscore because if it's in alphabetical, underscore will always jump the folder to the top. And I'll do another folder in here called AI. And I'll save the logo there. Make sure that create PDF comp compatible file is on. Let me hit OK. And then now if I do a test and I, let's see, drive safely, ride safely. OK, so if I take this file and I just drag it into After Effects, you'll see that it'll keep it as one piece. Now, if I bring that into animate it, I can't do anything with that. Like, you can't animate this. So that's why I was saying you have to go in here and you have to take all of these layers, just drag them out from underneath, and then delete this layer here. And then now I'll save it. And then I'm going to go back to After Effects. I'm going to delete these from here. But first, I'm also going to make a, a folder system that's going to match what I have on my desktop because I want all the assets here are going to link to this folder on my computer. And that's really, um, you have to be very, very organized. Because if I move this, let's say I'll show you. So I'll, I'll drag this in, and it'll say import. I don't want to do footage, because that'll make it one solid image. I want to do composition, and I want to do layer size. If I do document size, that means it's going to add this. Um, I'll show you. So if I do document size, if I open up this comp, now I have all these layers, which is great, but if I were to move anything around, see how it's got that box around it? Because that's the size of the document, and that's super annoying for animating. So I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to import this again by hitting Command-I. And I'm going to do Open, and I'm going to do Layer Size. Hit OK. 
Now, if I open this, all of these pieces are there. The bounding box is around them, which is great. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a solid behind here. So if I go to Layer, New, Solid. And the background, I want to make it white. So I'll add that. And then I'll bring this to the bottom by dragging it down here. And I'm going to lock it with Command L, or you could just kind of click this little icon here. Okay, now I want to set this file up for animating. And the way I'll do that is, let's see, I've got these. So I'm going to move them to the right for now. I don't need them right now. But I also want to make sure I know the position of this guy. And the way I can do this, now if this starts, I don't want it to start up here animating because it just looks weird. You typically... Some people really like to have things centered. So if I just move this down, I'd say, okay, well, that's it's cent that's where it's centered. But the problem is I just lost the place where it is initially. And you don't want to do that. You want to know exactly where it's going to end up. And a trick is if I do a null, if I do, uh, let's see, null object, and then this thing is, I just call it a mover. Now, a null is this invisible box that that um, you'll never see it when the video is published, but if things are parented to it, it can move around. So if I took <coughs> all of these objects here, and <coughs> this little thing here is called a pick whip, if they're all selected, I could just slip, move this up to the mover. Now if I move this mover anywhere, see they move, they all move around. So what I'll do is I'll do a, a position. Now this is a very, this is kind of advanced if you don't know After Effects. Um, so I apologize if I'm speaking too fast, but uh, eventually if you start taking After Effects, this will be a very easy, very easy tutorial. But what I'm going to do is do a key keyframe here, and I'm going to move it all the way out here because that's where it's initially going to end up. And then I'm also going to go here, and I'm going to bring it down to where I think the center point would be. Okay, so that, that would be, I'm going to eyeball it. That means that, in the beginning, now that is going to be there, but once it gets around wherever I'm going to have this move up, it's going to move up to that position. So you always want to work forwards to move, work backwards. You always want to think of your end goal and then go backwards to um, and just have things creep up to it. All right, so I'm going to start off with, let's see here. Um, typically, I'd make a comment. This looks blurry because I have it on half, so I'm going to do full just for now. And so, okay, so it's, we'd start this off. I would probably, I'd probably have the bike start in the middle. So I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna duplicate this mover and I'm gonna call it bike. I'm actually gonna have the guy move, or I'm gonna have this guy, do, 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 guy on bike, car. I'm gonna have the car actually go behind him, so move this down. And the guy, let me just parent these first. So the, the wheels, let me actually move it to the guy. The guy is going to, he's going to be parented to the mover bike. This thing is going to be parented to this. And then the car and the wheel is going to be parented to the car. Okay, cool. Now, the reason I'm taking the guy's uh, bike thing, because I'm going to do another, do the same thing where, because I want him to start in the middle. So I do a key keyframe here. I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to move it in the middle here. Now I'm doing this because I want him to start off in the middle and then eventually I want him to move back as this bike, this car is moving forward. So you'll see what I mean later. Okay, and then I'm gonna move in because I want to be able to have the car come out of nowhere. And let's see what that would look like. So again, this is this little, little steps here you gotta take. So I gotta create a mask because I want the car to look like it's coming out from him, but I, it's gotta, I don't wanna, I want a mask around it. I'm gonna hit G, I'm gonna get this pen tool up here and I'm actually gonna draw a mask and it's just kind of really basically be around the guy um, it's gonna be you know not the best mask but it's gonna do its job just for this tutorial okay I got a little weird what happened there what happened do 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 I mean all right go here there we go okay that should be good and here. So what you want to do is I'm going to just make this big box. And you'll see what this means in a second. So this is going to hide him. And I'm going to make it, uh, I don't know, like green or something. So this is a masker. This is this is a mask. Now, if I, I'm going to call it a mask. And if I put this on top of the car, 
Um, so another another problem now has come about because the car, um, I want to mask the car, but I also need the wheel involved in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these, I'm going to pre-comp it and call it car, and I'm going to go inside there, and I'm actually going to just... I'm going to shorten the width and the height. 600, 400, let me try 300. Okay, cool. And I'm going to go back. Okay, now if I do this mask, if I take this guy right here and I do in inverted mat, that means that if I take the car and move it back, you see how it's kind of going away? That means that anywhere the car is outside of this mask, it'll show. So if I take the car, if I move it back here, you can see that anywhere around the mask, it's going to just show outside of that mask. If I had it doing <coughs> alpha mat, that means that it would only show inside that mask. Now masks are something I've used for about 13 years, and so I would start to get to know them if I were you in Photoshop and Illustrator and After Effects and everything like that. All right, so we've got the car, we've got the bike, and I think we could start animating. So I'm going to take the car, and I'm going to move the car out. I'm just move it out right now. Because I want to start with the guy riding his bike. And one thing I want to do is just have these wheels constantly moving. So if I do a rotation, again, this is advanced stuff, you know, and I apologize if you might be lost by now. But this is actually, re it's advanced if you don't know it. It's actually really simple, very simple stuff if you know After Effects. Just I'm using keyframes, I'm using masks, I'm just using layers, real simple stuff. So if I'm going to animate it, I'll just do rotation. I'll do a little keyframe here, and I'll go out like, I don't know, 15 seconds, and I'll just put a 1. Uh, I'll put like a 2 here. Now that what that's going to do, if we watch this, if I do a preview, it looks like the tires are moving. Now it moved back because, see, the, the null moved them back. And I don't want it to do that yet, so I'm going to take those keyframes. And I'm going to move them out to here. I'll move this out to here. Oops. Move this out to here. Okay. And I'm actually going to make this move. these wheels move faster. So make it move faster, I will do more of a turn. So I'll do like five. Let's see how that looks. Eh. I don't say that looks great by any means. Um, I'll do... I'll do two. I'll do two again, but I'll move it up. Maybe I'll do three. Let's see how that looks. Uh, I can mess with that later on. I'll just do like two of these. And I'll move these up because I don't think it's going to animate for that long. All right, so this guy's riding. So we'll start off with this guy would be would be riding. So let's just do some kind of fun thing with him. So let's have him kind of scale in. So I'm going to do a Command S for a scale. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, do another Command S, and another one here. So again, I'm moving forwards, move backwards. So I want him to end at 100% in scale. But if I go back, I want him to, at this point, be bigger. And the beginning, I'm hitting I to go back. I want him to be at zero. Now if I play, see he's going to have that like little zoom effect, but it's really slow. So if I select these and hold Option and just drag the furthest one right, he'll he'll pop in a little faster. There we go. I still want it to be faster. Let's see. Boom. There we go. And I also want to give it some finesse, so I'm going to use this little graph key here, and I'm going to add this. I'm going to go back, and then it's going to add. Yes, yeah, he adds a little bit more life to it. So he'd come in. He's riding his bike. So you want to have that show for a little bit. So we want the audience to see. All right, there's a guy riding his bike, and then I'd say about this point, we'd have the car come in. So if you if he's doing this for like five seconds, that's just way too long, and people have the attention span of a goldfish these days. So you, what you want to do is kind of have quick things, but you also want the audience to see what's happening. So he'd come in, and then I'd say right about here, I want the car to come in. Now what's going to happen is if I move the car back, here's the car. And I also want the car's tire moving. So let's go inside here and the car wheel. Let's give it a rotation. And let's go out to here and do uh, two. Let's see what that looks like. That looks way too slow. The car's going way too slow. No car would go that slow. Let's do, I don't know, let's do 20. Let's see what that looks like. Like end. Let's 
still pretty slow. Let's do 40. This is what animation is, just finessing constantly. All right, that's fine. So we'll have that. Now we're going to have the car move in from where it is. And one thing I forgot to do is I want to parent that mask that's hiding the car on the bike. But I want to do it here. So if I go to this point, and now I want this, this mask to parent on the bike. And let's see. What we'll do is I'll take this little pick whip and the bike guy on bike. So I'll parent him. So wherever this guy's moving, this mask is going to follow him. And, I, and you'll, you'll see why that's important in a second. All right, so we said around two seconds, we're going to have the car be introduced. And uh, so what we're going to do here is that we're going to give the car position. And we're going to give the car the end position. So we're going to go back. And we're going to say, all right, the car is back here. And the guy, we're going to move his, his bike mover, which we already established. We're going to move these back over here. I'm going to move this out. And then let's see what this looks like. So let's see, there he is, he's riding, the car comes out. So we want the car to match the speed, so boom, he comes out. And we're gonna do this little finessing here. We'll do this, just do like that. Now we want this, there we go. And we want the car to come out at the same time and end at the same time. So we're gonna also give this little finesse and we're gonna see what this looks like, boom. And then the car comes out. That's just like, I think it's a bit too fast. So I think what we'll do is we'll take these keyframes of where these guys end up here. But I also think that the guy might be on the screen a little bit too long. If he's on the screen. Yeah, he's on the screen way too long. So I think it could come here and then <clears throat> right about here. So all I'll just do is I'll move these keyframes back. And then I'll just take the car and the mask. And I'll move these back as well. Let's see. Yeah, so that would be it. The car's driving. Guy's driving the cars next to him. So we're telling a story here. Guy's by himself. Cars are coming up next to him. Actually, you know what? I still think that's way too way too long. Move this back. Move this back. And what I'm doing to get this whole panel by itself is just hitting this little tilde button. And I'm move this back here. Let's see. There we go. So it comes in. It's riding. Car comes in. Perfect. Car's driving next to him. So it's showing that there's a car you know, in the same area as this guy. So now we can take the mover, which we established initially, and we could bring that back in because that's going to move the car and the bike up. Okay, so, but the this apparently is, <laughs> is not connected. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that the car is pick whipped to uh, the mover. So now if I do that, they'll move together and they'll move up. So again, we're showing the guy, we're showing a car, and then we're moving it up. Perfect. But when we want that to happen is we also want to give it a little finesse. So we want to bring up that graph graph tool and we can kind of give a little bit. What's doing here is that means that it's going to go fast and then it's going to go slower, but you have this little curve so it's not going to look so choppy. And then it goes up. So there we go. We can bring this out a little bit here. So we go, it comes in, here's the car, and it comes up. So right about this point is where I want to reveal these words, which I hid off to the side here, right? So once this thing's done, you'll see that this is going to be moving up here. So I think around this time, what I will do is I'll create some new mass. And the way I'll do that is I will do uh, green box and let's see, green box, blue box. So I'll duplicate these by just selecting both and hit command D. And then the blue box is overdrive safely. So I'll just bring this up above here. I'll hit this. I'll do masker, drive, and then blue box. Let's see, green box. I'll be masker, uh, ride. And I'll bring that above, ride safely. Now you could use color coding. So what I'll do is I'll just select them. I'll make them red. And then ride safely, drive safely. If I do this, again, masker. So we'll do alpha mask. That means it'll show. So let's say that ride is anywhere outside of that box it's not going to show so that's pretty cool and uh what else am i going to do here so what i'm thinking is i'll also have to reveal the green and the blue box which is, gets a little complicated so let's take a second here let's blue box drive so these are on top so let me 
move these above here. And let's also color code these on our own. So let's do this blue. Um, eh, the blue doesn't really stand out. I'm just going to do pink. Pink usually stands out. And then rider, and then this, I'm going to make these orange. Just so they're, they're popping. So I know that these are different. And <clears throat> I'm also going to take the blue box. I'm going to duplicate it above it. And I'm going to do masker blue box. And green box, I'm going to do duplicate this. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. Masker green box. And blue in this. I just hit alpha. So now, if I take drive... And see, that's why naming conventions are so important because this can get re you can get this can get out of your get uh, you can lose uh, sight on this super fast. So I just want to use these bottom ones. I want their positions. I want to make make their positions come in. So I'm gonna go here and say I want them to end at this point, but in the beginning I want this guy. I want him to be down here, and I want this dude to be up here. And you'll see that if I'm I'm going to take these. And I'm moving these off because I just don't want them in my way for the moment. And if I hit beginning, so I do this. So see how is it a little cool effect right there? So, But I also, it's the problem is that it's coming in before this guy's all the way up here. So you're going to see it's going to kind of hit him. And that doesn't really, this doesn't flow too well. So I'll probably just take these boxes and hold command and then select them, bring them over. And also kind of add a little... A little graph thing again. This graph thing is is a lifesaver, by the way. Once you start getting it in animation. So yeah, so that took a little bit of time. So let's see. Yeah, it just takes too much time. So I want them to end at the same time. So I'm gonna take them over here. Do do. do. Gonna move these here. And yeah, let's see. Uh, still looks kind of choppy. To me, this. Let me move this over. I'm gonna get rid of that. That's that that right there. There we go. This will probably make it match a little bit better. So there, there we go. That looks way better. And we're gonna move the same time. So as I'm moving at the same time, what I'll do is I'll grab these, I'll push them to the left, and I'll make sure that the type. I'll grab these, give them position, and I'll do the end position here, and I'll go back, and then I'll mess with them. So this guy, he'll be where will you be? We'll be here. And then this guy will be up there. Now let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's a little, that looks a little weird to me. Yeah, I want that to be at the same time. So let me take these and then push them back. And I'll just grab this keyframe, hold on, select and get these, hit this little graph thing, select them, and hit that. Let's see. Eh, I'm not a big fan of how that's happening. Hmm. <clears throat> What I'll probably do, let's see, how can I make that? I don't know, just visually it's not really doing it for me. I'm going to move these these masks a little bit. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I like, kind of like that better. Yeah, that's better. Because then, it, then it, like, I like right here where it's coming in right about there. And you can always move that around so I can say. So if I move the mask around, I could... I could visually see where it's being introduced, and I kind of like I like that effect a lot better. So ride safely, ride safely, drive safely, and then we'll see what it looks like all together. So about maybe five seconds. Again, you don't want an intro video to be too long, maybe five seconds. Um, so then we go. Which car's coming in? Drive safely, ride safely. You want to give them time to read it. Yeah, there you go. So that's it. Drive safely. Boom. And then before the video starts, you can have it on your end. You can just have the whole thing fade out where you could just probably, you know. So if I was going to do that, I would just, um, I'd probably just put a white solid down here on top of it. And then do a transparency where it's just going to fade it out. Make this zero. So once I get to around here, again, I'm going to give this little graph effect. Hit N beginning so then you have like a fade out there but i think that on that's better to keep that to when i hand these logos off to anybody i just let the editing team do that themselves because this you want to i want to let any anyone who i'm giving this to have more control so that's that's something that could be done in premiere um so what i'll typically do is just give them the whole video you know, there it is that's moving up 
drive safely. And I'll just keep it long just so the editor on the other end who has this, they can cut it off wherever they want to. And that's it. And then if I was going to publish this, I would go to uh, pre-render. There we go. And then I would choose do, do, do I would choose QuickTime. I would also choose uh, ProRes is the new one that's been going around. Hit OK. And then I would find where this is. I would do Final and make sure it's named whatever. Hit OK and hit Render. Now if you hit Caps Lock, it won't show this preview and it'll uh, render it a lot faster. So you see it a render and you hear this ding at the end. Hopefully that you heard that on your end. And then I'll go to my folder and I'll take a look at it. So there we go. There we go. Boom. Now you got your logo animation. Let's see. Yep. That's it. So hopefully that's helpful. If you guys have any questions, uh, just, uh, and, uh, I'll have uh, Andrea uh, email them to me. But uh, yeah, hopefully that was exciting and, <laughs> and helpful.